What's going on, guys? My name is Doc Rider. Welcome to episode 22 of Paper Mario: Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, um, we got stranded on an island. Um, and yeah, we've saved pretty much every a single one of the crew except for Bobbery. Uh, but uh, we're about to rectify that right quick. Into the depths with the Yoshi. Never. Hey, Not third time's the charm. One word. Hey, seventh time's the charm. Shush. So and I we are getting the uh, coconut for a very specific reason, mind you. Because as it turns out, uh, the uh, Flavio has actually oh, wait, I got uh, rid of the taken wrong the fucking item. The, the 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 item the cola for himself. I got rid and of you, the and you had to trade an item to him in order to get it back. I uh, I just I just uh, got rid of the wrong item. You got rid of the spite powder. Yeah, that's fine. It's already in the ocean. We're not getting it back. I'm just gonna quickly zoom across this. What is that you say? Chocola Cola? Well, why would I have that? But, uh, yes, by the way, Flavio is very curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish. He wants to drink it as his last wish? Uh, so what are we dealing are with? So what we are dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on this beach. But for this noble cause, I yield. However! This Chocola Cola is part of a, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this side, do not budge. Mm, yes, I'm sure if there's something on this island that would be suitable replacement. So you mean this coconut? Aha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fair, but somewhat cliched. Ah, uh, well, perhaps I should set my... I sh I, perhaps I had set my hopes too high for a foraging non-gourmand such as you. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola and give my regards to the Admiral. No, wait. I'm trying to think. Hold on what? a second. What? what year did Thousand Year Door come out compared to uh, Superstar Saga? Uh, 2005, I believe, is when Thousand Year Door Door released, and I believe, and I believe that Superstar Saga came out a, a bit earlier than that. I think it was 2004. Let me double check. Because if that's the case, then that explains the Chocola Cola. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga was originally released in 2003. Wow, okay. And just doing a double check on the other one, The Thousand Year Door was released in 2004, so I was a year ahead of both of them. So is that Ruin Powder or... hold on. Uh, Ruin, pow Ruin Powder is purple, Spite Powder is brown. Okay. Well, Torch is interested in, in the Minecraft idea. Understandable. Damn it. Uh, 
Uh, we're probably gonna level up again before this. Uh, before we even. I mean, I mean, considering yet. how I mean, considering how fast we are leveling up, we're probably under leveled. <laughs> oh, because of all the times, because of all the backtracking, I've skipped over. Yeah. We did skip over a lot of enemies that we probably could could have battled. Heck, you ran away from most of the fights that we would have had inside the previous chapter. But it was so much backtracking. I know, you wanted to get through them as fast as possible. But now we kind of get got an answer for our low, our low uh, prestige. Well, uh, okay. Well, we'll scoop. We'll be at low FP for for at least one more battle. I mean, that's an. I mean, if you think about it, that's enough for one more goal. So this other piranha is coming up here. Uh, you can you you can use gold on if there's yeah. The other one might use uh, the rune powder there, but that's okay. You can get rid. You can get rid of both of the uh, piranhas right now. Mm, yeah. All right. Oh wait, no, it, 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 it's not making me dizzy, it's making me confused. I wasn't there between, uh, let's see what the difference between- it meant, it meant I couldn't swap places. So basically, does it matter if we use it on enemies? Oh, I think so. Uh, FP. Let me, let me, let me, let me... Yeah, we should probably use F FP. Let's see. Oh, well, we got the room. Oh, oh, here's something interesting. A confused character, whether it is Mario, his partner, or an enemy, has approximately a 50% chance each turn to do something random. Hmm. Hmm. One can do. One can tell if something unusual is about to happen happen as there is an extra long pause before they act. I'm trying to think how long. Possible, po possible actions are Mario or his partner attack one, one another with their basic commands. Mario or his partner use defend, appeal, or run away. Mario or his partner switch to a different partner. And it will ignore the quick change badge if it's equipped. And enemies may you may attack each other or heal using uh, or use healing items or mo moves on Mario. Well, thanks for the defense, Marley. <laughs> but yeah, see, it's the um, it's the Pokemon they hit themselves in confusion mantra. Take out two birds with one stone with this gold. Okay, so now we're at the point of we're only getting like one or two star pieces per. Or actually, no, this is. No, we got. We we got seven experience, meaning we got two to three. Yeah. So we're about on lot. We're about on par with what level we should be. I hate that. Do, 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 do.
Mm. That distinctive bouquet! You, you brought it! Okay, hold on. I can actually just... <sighs> this glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens the mouth. So, the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be re reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Alright, moving on. You're not gonna try to talk, uh, talk to him? Give me a sec. Alice, I think maybe Bobbery's just sleeping. Yeah, he is. And here I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake up, Whack. Hop up, what, what? Yobbity, yobbity, pirates. Where are those pirates? Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, my old boy, it's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital. Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase. Ah, hmm, yes, well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sails, sailors. All right. Now I recall more, you old boy. We still have work to do. Better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and my explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? Bobbery finally joined our party. We finally have a bomb. We finally have explosive. I believe this is our last party member. Bobbery's abilities. A primer. I think Wait. you're right. Press X to make Bobbery make Mario throw Bobbery. We'll then walk a few steps and go boom. Use Bobbery's explosions to black flash cracks open, destroy walls, and activate switches. You can even throw him on the ledges above you. In battle, he can detonate on ground-bound enemies, or if you'd like, you can use his bomb squad time bombs that will explode one turn later. Alright, well... Alright, so, if I remember... If I... remember correctly, you need to... You need to... No, I think it's the red one first. It's the red one first. You had to butt slam on it, a, I think, three times, and then hammer the other one. I think we need the actual stone first. Yeah, we probably do. But, you know, it does make sense, since that... Um, is there anything when, I can access between the pirate's entrance and the base? With no, we've already gotten everything. And as far as getting stuff with Bobbery, um, no, there's nothing yet. Okay, so it's all once we get in the pirates. <laughs> there, but I will mention, when we get back, oh ho ho, do we have a lot to blow up. What do you mean? There's, there's a lot of um, cracks in walls that we that we uh, that we that we need to uh, get through. I guess is what I. All right, what, so let's I see guess. what we got for Bubbery. I mean, bomb squad. I'm trying to think here. How do I, I mean, I when it comes. I mean, when it comes to raw power, you've got nothing better than a bomb. Or... Two Quakes. That will only do four damage. Why do, I, why do you think I said two? Wait! Oh, Quake actually does... Huh. Or the battle's done already! 
I, I, why? Okay, I guess they buffed that item so that it was actually useful. But that's why I said two quakes. That's why I switched to Bobbery when I did the earthquake. Because even if the fuzzy survived. And how much does Quake Hammer do again? Oh. Isn't that just such a lovely sky? Yeah. Yeah, now Bomb is your standard attack. How much damage does your Bomb do anyways? Wait, wait, wait. Read that again? No, look. Throw three time bombs. They're, they're time bombs. I mean, so, no matter what, you're going to have to deal with at least one of them. So, just use a regular bomb. Uh, anyone who is here for the previous game, uh, you, you're one of your, you had the part partner known as Bombette. Mm -hmm. And she was easily your strongest in terms of pure power. I just realized I could I could have used uh, my super hammer to deal with it. I mean, this way you don't have to waste the FP. True. So with um with bomb squad, it's something that you set down early in the batch. Yeah, it looks like it. Also, you also uh, Bobbery starts off with twenty HP, so, which make, which actually makes his uh, HP higher than. Uh... Wait, what are you doing? Where am I bombing? I, I said once we get back to normal land. Uh... Talk to the captain. Ah, it is Bobbery. Welcome back to you. You know how worried we were. My stomach has been most upset. Must worry about everyone here. So who, well, who worries for Flavio? No one. You know how hard that is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much. I do not know what is up there waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. You don't even know how to get home for the sake of the blue blind briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence. Gah. I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to... So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier. There's a rather old rock at the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Oh, an old sea bomb's intuition. That skull rock smells suspicious. <laughs> a bobbery. Oh no, what really smells suspicious? Flavio's own pit. Oh, he smells <laughs> like a low tide. <laughs> but seriously, he may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the trouble for treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you munitious joker. I mean, how obvious! I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm so sorry to make many requests, but you he, know. I, I mean, I mean, at least. Oh, what is. Colorado? Uh, yeah, what. A col at least Colorado went into the danger. Yeah. Flavio, you old cash grubber. If you don't, if you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, I guess, uh, Admiral, you see, I. Yes, you have a point. Let's decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the skull rock? I, 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 I. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square. What? <whistles> um, no. Not fair. Flavio hates you all. <laughs> Flavio will join you for a short time. Suck it, bitch. You know, I really should have... You know what?
Just go up and get rid of them? Yeah. Gulp seems to be my best attack here. Well, here's the thing. Um... Torshi does best on enemies with no defense. No enemy we've come across has defense here. That is also true. And then you have then you have characters like um, Admiral Bobbery and Miss Mouse who do who do best when the enemy has a good chunk of defense on them. Hmm. Uh. No, no, I got it. I got it. I mean, I think I know on how to get rid of all of them. Yeah, so do I. Is this your plan? I was gonna say Quake can do that, but yeah. I mean, same result, so who cares? Yeah. I think the I think the only difference is maybe the FP cost, because I think Super Hammer costs less than Quake. You're determined to make to make uh, this place this place take uh, a a an extra episode, huh? Well, we kind of skipped over a lot of it in the last, so. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. This will make it go a little bit quicker. And we're most likely going to get another level up before we hit the end anyways. It's only three enemies on the screen, so I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. It's part of the reason why I'm doing it, because the cash... Plus the cash out, because again, we lost a hundred... ...coins during episode... ...20. Yeah, true. We did lose a hundred. Because Yusaka gambling. <laughs> I'm trying to think about how I want to play this. Actually, no, this works out fine. Sure, we lose out on... These enemies also have a good chunk of HP behind them. Mm -hmm. The lowest one being the green fuzzies that have 5 HP. Which can easily be dealt with with Gulp. Good thing I picked everything up then. Um, um, let's see here. I'm thinking Quake and then Gulp here. No, that won't kill any enemies. No, it won't. You're right. Because that because a Quake and Gulp will do seven damage. Now, if Mega Quake wasn't cut, you could have used that, that, and then that, and that would would deal out most of them. Earth Tremor only does four to these enemies, correct? Earth Tremor does up to 7 damage. Um, okay. We might just need to play this one by ear at this point. Uh, hold on. Actually, you know what I just realized? What? Fire Drive would have been really helpful here. Yeah. And we're not exactly using the Ice Hammer anytime soon. No, you're right. You want to switch those two when we get out of this battle? Yeah, we'll try our tremoring and see what happens. I might have to either I might have to gulp my way out of this. If you if you get to at least the, I th I want to say the third level of this, like past the third level, then the fuzzy is dead and they should be low enough HP to be to be able to be killed by gulp. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Seems like the, the Earth Tremor actually went down, though, because that only... If I had completed it completely, it would have only done six. 
So either the power of Earth Tremor went down, or they have a passive defense enough that I can, like, something. Actually, I think there was one more level pass where you messed up. Oh, it don't really matter now. I've gotten all the... Whoops. How bad am I at this? Yes. Shush. <laughs> I'm not questioning that. Just, just FYI. Okay, never mind. It is, it is at max six damage. I just decided to check it. I wonder why. I wonder why I thought seven. Hmm. Pay the 12 to get my FP back. Ah, now what is all this? A dead end? Taunting Flavio with its dead endness. But, hmm, is this. I think this is the Skull Rock blob bobbery blabbed about. Words. Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? Let's. Let us plunge into this puzzle. Where are you going? Uh, you can always have him sing, uh, the hey sea shanty. Hey, Gonzalez, doesn't Flavio have a gem that might fit in that eye hole? Uh, Red Jewel shines and plays. Mustache Brothers' best of friends. Three times Red Stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked. Let's... Okay. So, ground pound the red one three times. Hammer the blue one four times. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something. Is this correct? Now, what could I possibly have that you would want? Uh, Skull Jam, please. What? You want me to lend you the Skull Jam? You really, really need it. It's the heirloom of the house Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is alright. Because I am Flavio, he of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. I don't think I'm getting pay at all. Thank you very much. In fact, I'm making my own pay. You don't pay us. A, a pa pay? What do I pay you? Or, no, it's... Do those men know what I pay them for? You don't pay us. A allow them to live for. Oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Hmm? Huh? What? Ah! Uh, my skull gem! Mario, what were you thinking? That gem was part of the house of Flavio! Oh, there it is! Whew. What a happy day! I have my skull gem back! My jolliness has no end! Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You two understand, yes? So, uh, let me know when you find that glittery treasure, alright? Alright. Well, we're only halfway through the episode. Holy crap. Uh, da da da. Is that a glitch? What? Having the. Ooh. Is that a missing. No. The... No. No, I don't think so. I think Fabio went back and immediately wrote this. No, I mean the star at the end. Usually that's filled in. Hmm. So it is. Maybe it's a dark omen. Oh. Pirate's Grotto. <laughs> Alright, is there anything uh, in the starter room? In the starter room itself. Uh, the next time we get a star piece, it will be above some water, and the next shine sprite is on some, uh, broken boats. Okay. 
All right. There, by the way, there are quite a few shine sprites uh, here here in the grotto. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I was waiting for that, but you just. I I I I, I mean. You didn't care if I did it last time. No, I actually, like, I was just waiting for you. You did it anyways without me asking you. That's why I was just... I, I was like, oh, out, oh, we don't have that one. Oh, we don't? Oh, no, we don't. Okay. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. Max HP is six. Attack is four, and defense is zero. Its HP and attack power may be different from an ember's, but otherwise it's the same. Since it's made of fire, try not to touch it, cause it'll burn you. Well, I would say that if we didn't have the badge needed to be able to hit them. Apparently, it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire. So guard well. Alrighty, so... Mm. Oh, by the way, do we ever put on fire drive again? No, because we don't, can't use it now. We're literally at the point where it's useless at this point. Oh, right. We, ju we just blew past the areas where it would have been useful. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize it's starting zooming out as we're trying to figure out what's going on. That is cool. Okay. Hmm. I mean... I'd... S All right. What do you got? The best that I can th think of is since... Goombella can't attack these enemies. You're thinking we switch to Koops or Bobbery. Let's switch to Vivian. And, and, out, and out of sight, it, out of mind. And out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, but that, that cuts off Vivian. Okay. Oh wow! Oh, I didn't know. Well, that's a nerf. That's fine. Not that bad. But eh. what it means is. But I mean, what it means we is we know that gulp works. What kind of insights do Yoshi's have to be able to swallow fire like that? I have no idea, but nor do I really care at this point because. It's helping. They'll they'd be the bane of any of any. Uh, oh, we got of, twelve. Of, of, oh, hey, we got uh, we got a double. We got a double up. That's nice. Noise. So noise. All right. Make sure. Uh oh, hey, there should be a shine sprite near the end of it. The... All right, there. Okay. Did I get it? Oh, there we go. And there's the, uh... Yeah, I see that. Um, hmm. I'm... Hold on. What do we got in terms of items? Do we have a full item package? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Okay, so idea. Okay. Switch to Miss Mouse. Grab the super. And then on the next turn, we switch to Coops and hope that we can take them all out. How about this? How about this? Switch to Bubbery. 
use the uh, drop bombs. It won't trigger the super shroom because none of them are damaged. Oh, well, that's not good. Well, the two in the back are in for a surprise. All right. Now, heal with Mario and try to lay and try to lay some Just use one of the maple supers. And try to lay some bom bombs at the front. You have to try to hit you try not to hit the marker near near the top of it. A bit higher. Oh, that's different. Okay. Now, with, yeah, the bombs actually trigger each other, mind you. No. Okay. I was gonna say now I'll switch to Miss Mouse and steal it. Well, let's just hope they have a flippin'. Good luck to grab it? Yeah. So, yeah. Basically, each of his, each of his bombs deal four damage from wherever you laid them out at. And each one can trigger each one. Oh right, I didn't mark down the I didn't mark down the shine sprite. You also you also need to mark down the stop piece. Okay, so I believe this is a Vivian moment. We were going to get a game over at this rate. And down. Up. There should be an audio cue for when they're about to come. Anyways, um, the next one that you're going to be getting in ter terms of the... Oh god, star I didn't even notice the... the Have we done bullet bills? No, we haven't. Just, just kill it. Just, just kill it. No, no, don't, don't do that. It will kill itself on you. Just kill, just kill it. Heal. I only got one. Actually, no. This is gonna work out. I have an idea. Oh no! Oh goodbye. Huh. I don't think that I think how many luckies have we gotten so far? I mean we haven't gotten many because we haven't gotten pretty lucky. We only have close call. Speaking of which I know where we can get a pretty lucky. Actually no, I'm headbonking this. Can't remember this. How much experience do you have anyways right now? Hey, can you charge up a spin hammer and just wait for one to come to you? Well, my plan was to get that and then jump on it. That's a bullet bill. It attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. Max HP is 2, attack, attack is 4, defense is 1. Take care of it quickly or you'll feel totally well and you take it out. Okay. Hey, by the way, 
I think you can use your uh, roll-up paper ability to just go underneath them. That's a good idea. I said I think, not I know. It just looks like there's enough of a gap to do that. Here's the thing, I can sweet treat. Nope. Oh. Yeah, that was a good idea. I'm uh, sweet so... Treat. I'm sweet treating. Yeah, sweet, sweet treat and have Goombella kill this one. No, 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 no! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's decent. Mm, I really need this level up. I need to hit each of these perfectly now that I think about it. I had to. Oh. Hammer? Oh, you are so lucky that works. I mean, I can grind to a level up. That's uh, all I'm doing at this point. I'm gonna grind to a level up. Well, just walk forward and hammer. Walk forward and hammer. Because it's a lot more reliable than trying to jump on them. That delay, man. Freaking laggers. Okay, so we've got full star power back. The reason I'm doing this is because I level up just before the build blast blasters. I'm gonna need Bobbery for this. Like, I'm definitely gonna need Bobbery for this. Uh, I'm going HP. Any, uh, any complaints? No, go right ahead. I mean, there are there is a bit of a complaint when it comes to um, the fact that you have to waste a turn getting getting him out. That's a build blaster. It's a can that shoots bullet bills. Max HP is five, defense is two. It doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. I know the bullet bills are annoying, but take out the build blaster first. Trust me. Uh, how many of these things will shoot at us? You're so annoying. Okay, so... No. No, I need a full seven. My only thought would be to art attack, and I can deal with them immediately. I mean, their turn will be spent summoning bullet bills, which you don't get any experience from. If I art attack them, I deal the damage immediately. Yeah, go right ahead. I'm not using that again. Used it in the last LP. Did we? Yes.
winch here that raises the sluice gate. You will need a handle to move the winch. That's a big boy. And there's two of them. Lovely. That's a bulky bomb bomb. I think it's like other bomb bombs, but it's huge. Max HP is 6, attack is 2, defense is 1. It's weird. It never attacks, but once it's fused its list, it will blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind it taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. And when it powers up, attack is 8. Late fuse, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're going to fight, beat it before it goes off. Um, now I'm glad I decided to keep... Actually, I'm, I keep, I'm glad I decided to keep fire drive off. Actually, you know would be actually you know would be a good strategy. Shiza, 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 Shiza. Wait, Vivian. I don't have quick swap, dude. Then switch Mario to the front. Good point. I really should get quick swap. I wonder where I wonder where it's found. Let me, let me look. Let me look for it. Kaboom? Oh, I what? Just, I just screwed us. Is it about to do it now? Oh, wait, look, look wait, look at the fuse. It, it is going down. You want to try attacking? I'm going to attack and see what happens. Kaboom! Uh, we'll bail again just to be on the safe side. And this is turn three. Oh, for fuck's sake, I did that wrong. Okay, so after four turns, it will... Yep. Blow. So, actually, you can actually turn on... You can actually pull... Get on fire drive. And then you... And then use Vivian's veil in order to hide yourself when they would blow up. Yeah, the problem is, what do I take off for fire drive? Fire drive is what? Uh, Three. Uh, three. I mean, you can probably take off damage dodge and no, power I'm taking, smash. I'm taking off power bounce. Ooh. We rarely use it at this point. Yeah, true. Uh, we're we're mostly we're mostly swingers. And then do another singer, and then the swinger. Is there one in here? Is there? Oh. Uh, the the next time you get a star piece, it'll. It'll, there will be a room of lanterns, and it'll be a floorboard piece. Okay, well we could have saved block. We're at 50 minutes. I don't know how far into the cave we are. I think we're only about halfway in. Even though Vivian's a fire mage, can she attack them? Probably not. I mean, punch. See what happens. Nope. That was a good test. A little disappointing, though. Uh, I actually think we should end the episode here, though. Alright, alright. I just realized something. When we get back to, uh, Rogue Port, we can, uh, once we upgrade Bobbery, we actually can upgrade all the other party members. That is true. Again. Actually, don't we need, don't we need to do a trouble to get him a new orb? Oh yeah, that's right too. But uh, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for today's episode. It's a little bit shorter than usual, but it's better than nothing, right? And you did get a video, so uh, thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and smack the bell to stay notified of whenever new videos go up. Um, if you want to stay notified on any schedule changes to YouTube or Twitch, or you want to just, you, you like general shenanigans on my, on my Twitter, you can go to my Twitter, twitter.com slash doc underscore writer underscore, uh, Twitch, uh, schedule Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, 8 p.m., trying to get to, but I'm going to try and dial it back to 6, so that maybe you start early, um, twitch.tv slash doc underscore writer, um, Teespring store, teespring.com slash doc writer, teespring.com slash stores slash doc writer merch. Uh, all the other, uh, all other links that are relevant are in the description below, uh, including Tails stuff. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, keep watching. I mean, in the next episode. Uh, we'll continue through the Pirate's Grotto. Uh, we might be about halfway through the Pirate's Grotto, which means we're kind of about two-thirds of the way through chapter... We're about two-thirds of the way through chapter five. Um, <coughs> if, if our track current track record is anything to go by, we should have chapter five done in the next episode. So uh, stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for us for this for today and for the week. Uh, if you're watching this, um, if you're watching this and you're, 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 you're watching this as it comes out the same day, that will do it for us for the week. Uh, and we'll see you guys back here on Monday. Uh, for those of you watching this series later on in, in the future, stay tuned for the next episode or just hit the next button in the YouTube bar and you'll go to the next video. Anyways, guys, peace out. Have a wonderful day. As always, bow ties are cool. Peace out. Every. Buddy. <laughs>